The lines of ambulances at accident and emergency departments has been for months a telling sign of how stretched hospitals have become. At Salford Royal, the handover of patients appeared to be going pretty smoothly, despite the steady flow of weekend arrivals. <coughs> Having too many ambulances will be the least of anyone's worries come Wednesday. In advance of the start of strike action by ambulance crews, the letter from health chiefs says hospitals should take action to cope with what they say will be extensive disruption in a very challenging period. The letter requests what it calls essential actions, including ensuring measures are in place to ensure ambulances can hand over patients no later than 15 minutes after their arrival, and efforts to free up maximum bed capacity by safely discharging patients in advance of the industrial action. It perhaps begs the question why they wouldn't be doing that anyway. The chances of it happening appear slim. The head of NHS providers said that with the operational pressures they're facing right now, high bed occupancy, rising admissions with flu, COVID pressures, record staff absences and increasing numbers arriving at A&E departments like this, it will be incredibly difficult for them to do what they're being asked. And even if they could free up beds, some say that risks creating other problems. The issue is that social care has been on the back burner for far too long under successive governments. And really now we've got to a crisis point where we've got our own recruitment issue and there aren't as many staff in the community to help um, when people are discharged. We want to help the health service. We want to help those hard pressed ambulance workers and the nurses, but um, we've got our own issues. And I hope the government will take steps to resolve this as quickly as possible. <laughs> A winter of disruption in the health service has already seen the largest strike in NHS history. After nurses on the picket line, around 10,000 ambulance workers are going on strike across 10 ambulance trusts in England and Wales. In the North West, the GMB union has said it will provide the equivalent of just one crew per station to respond to life-threatening and emergency calls. Between unions showing no sign of backing down and a government not willing to negotiate, the rest of us, in the depths of winter, are left hoping we don't pay the price. Greg Milam, Sky News, Salford.